What If Season 2 Episode 9 Ending Explained Marvel's What If Season 2, Episode 9 ends with a major multiversal showdown, pitting Strange Supreme against Captain Carter and MCU newcomer Kahora. Unable to reconcile with his grief, the most tragic and darkest Doctor Strange variant has returned to interfere with the balance of the entire multiverse. To that end, it's up to Carter and Kahorai to save the whole of existence and countless variants in this exciting season finale. Having just saved the reality in the year 1602 immediately after a complicated reunion with her version of Steve Rogers whom the Red Room had brainwashed, all Captain Peggy Carter wants is to return home to her home reality. However, Marvel's What If? Season 2's finale sees Strange Supri recruiting Peggy for a new mission before sending her home. However, Strange's intentions are much darker than he initially lets on, and his true plans are fully revealed by the episode's ending. As seen in What If, Strange Supreme intervened, Strange Supreme attempts to bring back his universe which he'd lost in What If? Season 1 Amassing all kinds of dark sources of power, Strange abused his abilities as he constantly tried to bring back his love Christine Palmer who died in this reality, even though her death was an absolute point in time. As such, Strange's entire universe collapsed with himself as the only survivor amid a vast sea of nothingness. While it seemed as though Strange had grown and reconciled with his mistakes by the time he was recruited by Yue to the Watcher to join the Guardians of the Multiverse, what if? Season 2's finale confirms that Strange's grief was still too powerful as he was now trying to resurrect his entire universe using extremely dark methods. However, it was only through Strange's own sacrifice that he could finally conquer his grief-filled demons and succeed in bringing back his world which Yoedu and Captain Carter find themselves in at the episode's end. Strange Supreme's What If? Season 2 Plan Explained Using a multiversal forge to rebirth his reality. Initially, Strange Supreme claimed he'd been taking action and staying busy containing universe killers from all over the multiverse. However, Strange's new mission is far bigger, darker, and much less altruistic than he initially let on to Captain Carter. Capturing both hero and villain variants alike, Strange was simply seeking powerful beings to feed a multiversal forge he'd built in the hopes of resurrecting his universe and subsequently bringing back Christine Palmer. One of these captured beings is Kahorai, the Tesseract-powered Mohawk warrior who made her debut in What If? Season 2, Episode 6 With Kahorai having escaped Strange Supreme Sanctum Infinitum, he needed Peggy to catch Kahorai off guard, though Carter eventually chooses to aid Kahorai and fight Strange who's far too consumed by his own grief having truly corrupted and possessed him as a living monster all its own. Having claimed the Infinity Stones from What If? Season 1's variant of Eric Killmonger, Captain Carter was already quite powerful before many of the other captured variants Carter had released gave Peggy and Kahorai their weapons during the episode's final battle. As such, Captain Carter and Kahorai were armed to the extreme with notable relics such as Hela's crown, a Hulk Thor variant's sword, a version of Mjolnir, the Ten Rings, and more. Thankfully, Kahorai was able to send all of these variants back to their home realities before they could be fed to Strange's multiversal forge. Even though Strange Supreme had transformed into a massive winged demon of pure darkness and grief, Carter was able to temporarily knock the monster out of Strange with a single punch, having all six Infinity Stones clenched in her fist. This briefly created an opening for Peggy to try and reach Strange and the man he once was. Right before Strange and his demon fell into the forge, it seemed as though Strange had broken free and let go, an act Yue to references as the reason why his universe was brought back, albeit without him in it. His sacrifice is what finally brought back the reality he himself destroyed.